Hello guys, uh, my name is Evans and uh, welcome to this uh, video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to continue looking at the October-November 2016 IGCSE ICT, this time around Paper 3. And um, we are going to uh, focus on the first part of the paper, which is Web Authoring. Okay, so I already downloaded the files that I need for this paper and um, they are on... Um, on my desktop inside this folder called tutorial and um, yeah so let's go ahead uh, with task number one open the file um, 163 evidence.rtf make sure your name center number and candidate number will appear on every page of your evidence document by placing these details in the header and so save this as a word process document in your work area um, as this followed by your candidate number for example that then you can't end up at the end okay so you need to answer uh, or rather to enter answers to questions and place your screenshots uh, in this same document okay so let's go ahead and open the file in question so the evidence document just double click on it and enable editing then insert header and always choose blank three column because you have your margins aligned um, Okay, so you have the right margin, the left margins, they are all aligned there. Okay, so put your name, Chikasa Evans, and your center number ZM556, and put in your candidate number 001. Okay, so we are required to save this document as it is, but we are just going to, uh, let me just check the format we are supposed to save it. Okay, so save this as a word process document. Okay, so save it as uh, 163 evidence and then your candidate number at the end. So save it as a word document and just put your candidate number at the end 0001. Okay, and click on save. All right, so let's go ahead now uh, with the task to do with web pages. So you work for Hot House Design and I've been asked by the Goan Tourist Board to help develop web pages to advertise tourism in Goan, India. The home page and three other pages have been started. And so create a new folder called um, this one. So I'm just going to copy this. Um, no, copy it from here. Copy this name. And then locate these files and place them inside this folder. Okay, so let's go ahead and create this folder new folder and paste that name that we copied there okay so now we're supposed to put all files the pictures all the pictures that are there the HTM files the CSS and other pictures that are there okay so anything to do with picture um, as long as it bears this name now it's just find these files okay and place them inside that folder so I'm going to get this one uh, this one or let me just get all of them and then deselect those that I don't need okay so I don't need the word document files neither do I need the Excel files um, I need all these other pictures just scroll down and just make sure that all other uh, files that you pick up are actually part of those that you need okay so you have 20 items you can count through to find if you are selecting 20 items okay so just drag and drop them inside there okay so I hope these are 20. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then you have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. And I copied um, 20 files inside here. As you can see down here, it shows there are 20 items. Okay. So now that we have these files, let's go to uh, work. Step number one, open and examine all the supplied web pages. Evaluate the efficiency of the markup for these pages and explain how improvements could be made. Okay, so you just need to go to your web pages, open them maybe with Notepad, and look. I have a look at some of these pages. Okay, so this is a, um, a declaration um, document type in creation is an HTML document. Um, we're using language English and um, the we have yeah yeah except that um you have um em some empty spaces in the table um some cells are empty and all 
and um, you have this DAO sheet here, um, the style that has been created within the HTML language. Now this has advantages of doing this and it also has disadvantages. Let's have a look at another um, um, Notepad, um, another HTML page in Notepad so that we compare. Um, it's too early to judge. Um, let's look at this one. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks almost the same, uh, except again you see this style. Um, the only thing that you need, you can compare, is to find if because if you're going to have a web page um, or web pages, which are going to have style sheet, um, and this style sheet, it has got elements within the style sheet that are the same then it's pointless to declare these styles um, inside um, the HTML web page. You'd rather create a style sheet for them, CSS style sheet. <coughs> um, let's try to open another one, and maybe one more. Um, and just find out as well. Again, you see this style. Let's open this other one. Um, Again, you see the style. So this is redundancy. It's not encouraged in programming. Um, so the only thing that you need to find out is if these styles are actually sharing some of these properties here, then you can go ahead and um, just create a style sheet and then attach the style. It will be easier because then you only need to edit the style sheet once and you don't need to go inside individual web pages to edit the style sheet. So I think for me, um, when you say that... Um, um, we we need to um, we need to evaluate the efficiency of this uh, markup. Now evaluation can look at both uh, the negative side and the positive side. So on the negative side, I think the use of the um, the use of the style sheets actually um, or not the style sheets the use of the styles inside the web pages is uh, is not good. Okay, you'd rather create. There. So you can look at on the positive side, you can look at on the negative side. Okay, and then we can look at also if it's a negative side, then we think of a way that we can make improvements to this one. So let's go ahead and type something in our evidence document and um, yeah, we can do that. So I'll close this up. I don't need now these um, notepads. I'll close them up. So let's go to the evidence document and we are going to type the evaluation here. Okay. There is a redundancy. Redundancy in the uh, let's say of star sheets of styles in all the web pages. Okay. This makes editing difficulty okay the solution is to create a style sheet and attach it okay you need to attach it to the web pages okay so that is that is the solution um, you need to create the style sheet and then attach it um, to the web pages okay so that is one problem that you are going to find um, if you have styles that are within web pages. Every time you want to edit, let's say, color, you have to go to that individual page and edit it, that, and then you go to another page and edit that, and go to another page and edit that. And by the time you're done, you find that um, um, you would have wasted a lot of time. Okay. So I think I'll end here uh, for this one. Uh, that's what just I noticed there. Um, with the style sheet. So the next thing that I want to do is to go to f uh, this one. You guys, you can find out other reasons there, but I'll just stick to that. Okay, so step number two, using a suitable software package, open the web page, nov163gtb.htm. Uh, so let's go ahead and open that file. So nov, this is the file in question, and I'm going to open it with front page. So now, a number of you guys have been asking me um, to create um, the HTML section with um, 
uh, Dreamweaver and some of you you wanted me to use Composer. Like I've said guys, um, these skills are transferable. Um, when you create using um, um, uh, Dreamweaver or you create using Visual Studio, uh, not Visual Studio, <laughs> when you create using, <laughs> using um, um, front page <coughs> and also uh, you can use Composer, the skills are the same. I mean, if you're able to manipulate using uh, Dreamweaver, what I'm doing here in front page, you can apply it uh, with Dreamweaver. You just need to know what I'm doing at any other time. Okay? So, please don't feel bad that um, I'm making these videos um, in um, in front page and in your school you use Dreamweaver. So, it's going to be a bit hard for your revision. No, don't think that way. Okay? Um, these skills are transferable and you are not disadvantaged in any way. You just need to um, apply these um, uh, skills that you've acquired uh, in your uh, Dreamweaver or Composer. Okay, so this is the page that we've opened and um, let's go ahead and uh, have a look at the next part. It says replace the text A candidates uh, ZZ999 and 9999 with your name, center number and candidate number. Let's go ahead and do that. So scroll down and replace this part. So this part is going to be Chikasa uh, Evans ZM556, not ZN, ZM556001, okay? Done with this one. Next step, replace the text uh, image A with image 163 beach, okay? Um, image A, so just highlight it, insert image, and this is beach, okay? And insert it there. Next, step three, replace the text image B with image 163 logo. So go to um, the text, um, where are we? Image B, just uh, click on it and insert picture and then look for the logo, this one. Next step, um, resize the image to 1000 pixels by 380 pixels wide, okay? So 1000 pixels by 380 pixels wide. So right click on the image and go to picture property and go to um, the width is 380 but make the height. Make sure that the aspect ratio is unchecked because if you try to change the, um, the height with the aspect ratio locked, uh, this will also change. So make sure that aspect ratio is unchecked and then that's when you can change 1000. And um, the next part says that um, Make sure that appropriate text is displayed if this image is not available. So before we even close this window, let's go to general and type in image of company logo maybe. Okay. So that um, when this doesn't work out uh, in terms of loading, it will be um, displayed the alternative text. Okay. Step number four. Using the most appropriate image from image 163, image 1 to image 163, image 8, replace the text image C with image of chef preparing food. Okay, so let's go ahead and find the chef preparing food. And automatically, you can see this guy looks like he's squatting preparing food. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get this image. So insert. Okay, so I'll zoom in again and um, get this picture. But this picture is supposed to be inserted here. Okay, image C. So get him, say, insert. Then image D is supposed to be image D, image of an infant, right? Um, let's go here. Um, insert, zoom in, and look for an elephant, right? There you go. Um, insert. Then this one, get it as well. Insert. This will be image of what? image of the um, of a river boat okay let's find out zoom in just hold, hold control on your keyboard and draw up your mouse wheel to zoom in so let's find the river boat there you go and insert it okay, perfect so step number five make the text click here a hyperlink to return to the top of the page so what this one is really asking you to do is to create an anchor which is going to when you click on it it's going to take um or row up the web page um or the current page onto the top or the beginning of the page so to do that um, you need to insert first of all a bookmark 
okay so where you want uh, at least the 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 control to come when you click on the um on the on the on the anchor okay so i put my bookmark here and go to um let me see insert bookmark and i'll give it the name top okay and click okay so there you go now i've inserted this one scroll down and now get the text that you need okay so the text is supposed to be um the text is supposed to be click here okay so click here is this one so highlight this text just click here right click it and go to hyperlink and this time select place in this document and select your anchor or your bookmark that is there and say okay now be careful sometimes you are asked to do something okay that's that okay say okay and there you go you see that there's a link there if you click on this one it will take you back to the top there you can test this in your browser and you see that it will work out okay so next step step number six okay step number six make the text hot house design a hyperlink to send an email message to hot house design at cie.org uh, with a subject line web design okay I think I'll end with this step and then in the next video I'll pick up from step number seven so that I don't make this video quite lengthy and uh, less otherwise okay so let's get to create um, okay so make the text hot house design a hyperlink so let's do that scroll down hot house design that's the text we make it a hyperlink what will this hyperlink do it will uh, send an email message to hot house design so copy this um, I'll copy this email address and then come back here I'm sending an email address to this address with the subject let me copy the subject as well web design inquiry just copy it and um, paste it there and um, so what I'm going to do is um, let me see okay so set the name for the default target window to self okay okay so mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so I'm wondering whether I should um, I should uh, set this because there are two ways that you can set this you can set it in uh, in this window here uh, under target but there's no target here I think for this one if it was a link into um, a web file or web page we could have set this um, um, target to a new window or to a self window um, but um, because of um, this is email we will need to do a different way okay so I'll show you in the next video um, how we are going to solve um, um, the next step okay so for now let's just say okay okay so for now we'll end on step number six okay and um i'll pick up in the next video of step number five i prepared something um to show you guys um to do with this part because i needed to explain this part on anchors um and target frames okay so i'll show you just in a short while so let me just end this video and then um we'll pick it up from step number seven